the Bwindi Impenetrable National Forest in western Uganda. Tourists come here from all over the world to see the gorillas. The Batwa pygmies lived in harmony with the gorillas for generations. But in 1991, the government evicted them to help protect the gorillas. Now the Batwa live on land provided by nonprofits. Benin, Zawadi, and their three children, Macklin, Bosco, and Daisy, live on a hillside called Karehe near the forest. Benin is in his 30s, and Zawadi is slightly younger. What's left of their culture is a form of entertainment for passing tourists, who sometimes offer tips. Each tourist pays the government hundreds of dollars to see the gorillas in the Batwa's ancestral land. None of that money goes to the Batwa, who are prohibited from returning to the forest. <laughs> Zawadi works at the Redemption Song Foundation, a nonprofit that supports young Batwa children. When she was 10, Zawadi and her mother left their village to escape its rampant alcoholism and violence. It was then that she met Benin. I used to meet Benin and we would share stories together. And then, he told me he would love to marry me. We were in love for almost a full year. And then his behaviors changed. While Zawadi provides for the family, Benin spends what little money he has on small packets of liquor. The Batwa have been plagued by poverty, poor health, and discrimination since their eviction from the forest. Many now resort to alcohol to cope. When Benin was a child, his parents used to drink and fight. When we saw our parents fighting, we worried that our father was going to kill our mom. Or that after the fight, he would start to beat us too. Sometimes Benin gets so drunk, Zawadi's friends have to walk him home. He drinks every night. When he comes home, he's often destructive, angry, and unpredictable. Mommy, 
Ow! Many mornings, Zawadi has to put her house and family back together. After their father hits the children, she looks for marks. I want to see my children go to school in good health and eating well. I don't want to see them drinking alcohol. But I think, when they grow up, they'll start drinking. I would love him, but alcohol is what makes us dislike each other. Like many Batwa women, Zawadi would have nowhere to go if she left her husband. It's rare for Batwa women to own property. If she owned her own land, it could empower her to leave him. Zawadi is the only person in Karehe who doesn't drink, and she is the only one who has a job. The Redemption Song Foundation hired her because she's the hardest working person in Kadeh. Every day, she works to provide a better future for all the Batwa children in Kadeh.